terrified by uh, Dean's shepherd's hook, and um, so I'll uh, be careful not to ramble. Um, I'm just as happy as I can be to see that you're here, and um, we believe more people will be coming in as we proceed. Um, we do want to stay on schedule because uh, we have some very, very uh, interesting people uh, who have agreed to give the keynote uh, addresses here at the beginning and lots of uh, interesting uh, speakers in the rest of the meeting. And we're just delighted to have also some great people in the audience. So uh, I hope that everyone understands that this is going to be uh, a working meeting in the sense that we are trying to develop a logical thread through the whole meeting that uh, will lead to a sort of product at the end of the three days. Uh, recommendations uh, of uh, technologies that we've analyzed and uh, their applications, their uh, the various concepts for accelerating progress in space, and that's really the driving motive of the whole event. So uh, people have come in from uh, uh, remote places like uh, uh, Santa Barbara, California. I see Phil Lubin down here. Uh, welcome, Phil. Um, and um, we uh, are uh, very uh, anxious to see how cutting edge things such as he's working on blend with things that are not being done yet and can, can uh, really advance them. Um, to get things underway here, uh, I'm first going to ask Sandy Montgomery to give the welcome from uh, the Tennessee Valley Interstellar Workshop, which is our uh, uh, hosting organization. It's a uh, 501c3 educational organization that has uh, uh, sponsored five previous meetings, and this uh, is a kind of sixth special meeting. And uh, I'll ask Sandy to uh, say a few words, and then uh, we'll begin with our keynote addresses. Thank you, John. Welcome, everybody. Okay, what a great meeting we've got lined up here. A lot of, a lot of really great speakers and participants in this. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, John mentioned, if, if you're not familiar with the Tennessee Valley Interstellar Workshop, we've been around for eight or nine years. I uh, have sponsored, usually on an 18-month interval, these kinds of uh, symposium, uh, serious technical interchange towards a, a topic that brings us all together in interests. And uh, so John approached us. He's been a participant in several of those meetings in the last and said, uh, I have a, a meeting concept in mind and it fit exactly with what we're about, and we're very glad to be here. He's put together a wonderful program. So uh, the purpose of TVIW is to facilitate interstellar research and exploration. We do this by hosting regular summit meetings. This is one. Encouraging educational advances. We give out some scholarships. Uh, publishing technical and scientific papers. We try to have these meetings. We capture the presentations. We try to get them in various journals and supporting literature and culture in general. Uh, suggest everybody please go to our website, simply tviw.us, and you'll find lots of uh, uh, outreach and uh, ways to uh, look at uh, uh, things that are going on in, in the area. Uh, we're doing this to enhance what the public uh, dialogue is and attitudes towards interstellar, which is evolving rapidly. I mean, this is a, a topic that I think when we began six or eight years ago was of interest to a small group of this, but it is really growing and really taking off in the last year or two. NASA is really getting into this in a very serious way. So we're glad to see that, that that's happening. So we're here to, to help the uh, attitudes in general, the public uh, advance towards that. What we want to do, we want to build a technological, philosophical, and economic infrastructure with the goal of establishing outposts throughout the solar system and finally achieving a pathway to the stars. You're here to help us make a very important step towards doing that, and I appreciate that very much. Also, I'd like to mention, appreciate very much, we can't have these meetings without uh, important sponsors, and we want to acknowledge the sponsors that we have today. Dean's got a poster over there. Um, I'm going to read through some of them, uh, particularly uh, start at the top of these uh, folks who have really given us significant resources to help us pull this out. Gray Mays and Space Canada at the, the top lunar level. J. 
geostationary level is Linda Fippen. You may have met at the table outside. TVIW has also put uh, some of our resources into this. Uh, and then John Rather himself has invested in this quite a bit, and, and including a lot of late nights and, and blood, sweat, and tears, but uh, also uh, money-wise also. Starship V-Log and Imperia uh, Aerospace. Uh, and then some individuals, Paul Gilster, Wesley Singer, John Preston, John's here, see you. Bill Carnes, uh, Kella Moore, uh, Usain Dean of Hartley Consulting is here. Van Books, uh, the Orion Organization, and Montech, which is my own little engineering firm. So thank you very much, and welcome, and let's get to work. <laughs>